we have abandoned the sunnah. We have abandoned Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, and we're paying the price for it. The international financial system around the world today is in the control of Jewish bankers and Jewish finances. If they want to, they can bring the U.S. dollar down today. They can do it. Because Washington has printed too much paper. And there are far more U.S. dollars outside of the United States than there are in the United States. It's entirely fraudulent. If I were to do it, they'd put me in jail. <laughs> and so two things will have to happen. The financial system will have to collapse. And after that, the Jews will control the finances of the world. And number two, there'll have to be this spectacular display of military power. But when that military attack takes place, Israel will have to be able to argue, we were provoked. We are only trying to defend ourselves. So in order to do this, you have to begin the process with Ariel Sharon going into Masjid Al-Aqsa with 1,000 Israeli soldiers in a deliberate act of provocation. He knows what the Palestinians are going to do when he does this. A deliberate act of provocation intended to bring that intifada back to life. And when it comes to life and the killing starts, Israel will have to talk peace on this side but continue doing pinpoint killings. Huh? Every time they kill, every time they assassinate, it is intended to further inflame the passions of the Palestinian people. Bring that state of rage. And as the oppression continues to increase, there is going to be an awakening amongst the Arab masses. Egyptian people are going to be very angry. Jordanian people are going to be very angry. So what is the king of Jordan going to do? What is Mubarak going to do? What is the Saudi government going to do? In order to survive, when your people are becoming more and more angry, you're going to have to start making some powerful statements. You see? Like, king, like Abdullah just did last week from Saudi Arabia. And Mubarak will now have to speak very hostile against Israel. And perhaps one day even King Abdullah of Jordan will have to start to do the same thing. So as these statements now come out, and maybe you have an Arab summit conference and so, and the impression is created that the Arabs are closing in now on Israel, the stage is set. You've done your PR work perfectly. And now Israel can launch that spectacular military attack. The Israeli people are calling on the government, come on, come on, what are you waiting on? Let's wage war. In the Israeli cabinet they're calling for it. Hmm? And the government is giving the impression to the world that we are restraining ourselves. We are restraining ourselves. How long will it be before that takes place? I don't think long. That's spectacular. PR work perfectly and now Israel can launch that spectacular military attack the Israeli people are calling on the government come on come on what are you waiting on let's wage war in the Israeli cabinet they're calling for it hmm? and the government is giving the impression to the world that we are restraining ourselves we are restraining ourselves how long will it be before that takes place? I don't think long. That spectacular military display is coming soon. It is my impression 
that when that happens, it will be the most appropriate time to bring down the international monetary system, which is already fraudulent and already vulnerable. And therefore, that will be a time when the jar will move from a day which is a month to a day which is like a week. Israel now emerges as the ruling power in the world. The impression is created that this is the return of the golden age. It is only at that time that the Dajjal will now appear in a day which is like our day. I assume that he will be the ruler of Israel. And so from Jerusalem he rules the world. And so he's accomplished his mission. And the golden age has come back. But Banu Israel will not be able to recognize that they were deceived. It is after this that Imam al-Mahdi emerges. I have this lecture maybe tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Huh? Thursday? Tuesday. Imam al-Mahdi and the return of the Khilafah. This is the lecture on Tuesday. It is at this time that Imam al-Mahdi is going to emerge. But Imam al-Mahdi will not emerge until the water in the Sea of Galilee is dry. When Imam al-Mahdi emerges, it is that time that Isa al-Islam will return. And he will kill Dajjal. But Isa al-Islam cannot return until the water in the Sea of Galilee is dry. How low is the water? Is it drying up? I read the Jerusalem Post every day on the internet in order to monitor the water level in the Sea of Galilee. It is now so low, as never before in history, so low, that Israel itself has declared, that is the water engineers, that they expect sometime this summer that the water level would be so low that the Sea of Galilee can never be restored. It's going to die now. How much time will it take before that water dries up? That's the amount of time that's left. How much water will evaporate from the sun? That's the amount of time that's left. I have concluded it's not going to take a hundred years. Oh no. I have concluded it is going to take less than 50 years before that water dries up. And when that water dries up, which is less than 50 years I believe, the world will then witness the emergence of Imam al-Mahdi. And when he emerges, then Isa alayhi salam returns, the true Messiah. When he returns, he will kill the Dajjal. And Gog and Magog are going to be destroyed. And then said the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, then the Holy Land will be liberated. He said, when this hadith is in Sahih, in the Sunan of Tirmizi. He said, when you see the black flags coming from the direction of Khorasan, go and join that army. Even if you have to huh? crawl over ice. Go and join that army even if you have to leave Singapore. Go and join that army. Because Allah's Khalifa, Imam al-Mahdi, is in that army. And no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem. And so now, we don't have time to debate this subject with those who differ with us.